This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. <laughs> How many times have I come here to you right here on YouTube to say, oh my God, just wait, Mike Lindell has information that he's getting ready to drop that will change the narrative for everyone. It will be ironclad evidence, uncontrovertible evidence that the 2020 election was stolen. This is it. This is the final time. Oh my God, he's going to the Supreme Court and this is gonna change everything. It's been a lot of times. There was this cyber symposium. There's been promise after promise after promise to show you unmitigated truth that no one can deny. It's happened a, at least a dozen times and he's back. And apparently it's gonna happen this Friday, maybe, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, he was on Steve Bannon's show explaining what exactly is gonna drop this bombshell. again. I want you to pay attention that if these people actually had real evidence, they wouldn't put it off for a week or 10 days. They would say, oh my God, here's the smoking gun, lay out the evidence and we're bringing it to the authorities. It wouldn't be, stay tuned, just wait, up next. It would be just dropped. But because they don't, they string their followers along even in this clip that I'm getting ready to play between Steve Bannon and Mike Lindell, uh, Steve Bannon has to chuckle because he's letting him know, I'm gonna let you talk about your Supreme Court thing, but I know you got deals. I know you got deals on your socks and your pillows and your coffee and your bullshit. He chuckles even in the moment while giving him the, the plug for his stupid event that may or may not happen. So I want you to watch this moment, pay attention to all of those nuances, and then we'll get to an update that happened after this because I really just want to illustrate the chaos and the nonsense that constantly surrounds or is is fabricated by my pillow goof, Mike Lindell. Watch this. You're about to visit more problems on the Supreme Court. Just give us a, a we've got a minute or two here before the break. I'm going to hold you. Uh, what's going to happen? You're, you're going to go to the Supreme Court this week? Yeah, this is big, everybody. This is what we've been waiting for. Uh, the lawyers gave me this to read there this morning. It's a petition for a writ of certiori. And this was the case that we started in Arizona for injunctions against the machines across the country. We started with Arizona. It was Mark Fincham and Kerry Lake were the plaintiffs. It's very similar to the Kroon case in Georgia that just went to trial in January. And, and But ours was dismissed on standing and said the claims were speculative. Now that was appealed to the Ninth Circuit in Arizona and it was affirmed, the lawyers were sanctioning, including Alan Dershowitz, which I had hired for this case. This isn't just some little tinfoil hat case. This is huge. And by law, the law allows us now to bring additional evidence because it was dismissed on standing. So this, uh, this new evidence is the most explosive evidence ever. Just in the last two months, we got this, everybody. The lawyers are excited. The whole world's going to watch us this coming Friday on the steps of the Supreme Court, three in the afternoon. We're going to hand deliver this to the world, Steve. It's going to be the biggest thing ever. And uh, we are going to save this country. Mike Lindell, uh, people, uh, they're raving about your barnstorming in Illinois. You got Supreme Court on uh, on Friday. Give me give me some of the names that are going to be there at three o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to cover it nonstop uh, before we talk about deals because people want to hear your deal. They want to hear your deals. Who's going to be there at three o'clock on the steps of the Supreme Court? Well, we're going to have all every, every basically anyone that's had anything to do with the investigating of this stuff and all that things like a ben, your Ben Cottons, your Walter Doris, your Colonel Sean Smith, you. Um, the list goes on and on and on. I want all the media there that they can ask these guys questions because the evidence we're dropping is the most explosive evidence ever seen in history. By the way, it's never even been talked about, Steve. This is now evidence. This, this makes evidence in the past look like it was hardly anything. Yeah. It is so explosive. And everyone, you can go to lindellplan.com. The lawyer's going to put everything up there that, that they can beforehand. But Perfect. then the big case will drop at 3 o'clock on, on right. Friday. Oh my God, they've got us, guys. They got the, the what did he, how did he describe it? The most explosive evidence ever. <laughs> I mean, all we need is like a heavy metal guitar riff and a Sunday, 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 the Sunday at the Megaplex. <laughs> this is how they promote these things. 
this is big. This is what we've been waiting for. He says, uh, not some kind of tin foil, tin foil hat case. This is huge, according to Mike Lindell. The whole world will be watching. It sounds irrefutable. It sounds like when they show up to the Supreme Court at 3 p.m. this Friday to hand deliver this evidence to the Supreme Court, that this whole charade will be over. Except it didn't take long, of course. Uh, they're not going to be there at the Supreme Court. It, they're actually going to file electronically and not be there in person, not hold a press conference, not uh, be subject to media scrutiny and questions from journalists, they're going to file electronically the day before. Here's Mike Lindell telling you himself. Hello, everyone. I wanted to get on here and give you some updates on the big Supreme Court case that's getting filed this week. Uh, the lawyers moved it from Friday to Thursday, March 14th, and it's going to be done electronically instead of in person. Now, as much as I would have loved to have been there on Friday in person, because I haven't been to D.C. since January 7th of 2021, I understand the security reasons and other things that they were telling me. So, But the good news is we get it a day early. You can go to LindellPlan.com right now and support this and many other things and learn about what's going on and help save our country. There you have it. The huge bombshell, most explosive evidence ever, will be filed electronically. They won't face media scrutiny. I was, when I saw the Bannon clip, I was like, well, hell yeah, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down with a microphone and a camera. We're gonna get this. I'm gonna ask him some questions. And uh, little Mikey Lindell, lumpy pillow Lindell won't be there. So I will not be there either because this is the pattern and practice. Standard operating procedure for these goofs is to try to create some kind of a media firestorm, try to whip up the MAGA base into believing the lies and the conspiracies, and then pulling the rug out from under them. It is no wonder that wacky, right-wing, white nationalist, white Christian nationalist evangelicals fall for this time and time again because they come from a faith tradition where they're faith healers and they're prophets, they're herald campings, these people that predict the end of the world, that this date, this is the specific time that it's going to happen. Uh, it never comes to pass. And they constantly get lied to, they get bamboozled, and then they fall for it again and again and again and again. This is just the way it is with these people. So there's so there's so much wishful thinking involved surrounding this particular lie and conspiracy theory that they're going to be tricked over and over and over. There isn't, there isn't an amount of times where they're going to finally wake up. I don't think so. I would wonder what you think about that. We can mix it up in the comments. We can have a conversation there. That would be great. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, as always, daily at dollamore.com. If you appreciate what I do, if I am a content creator, a political commentator that brings you value, please consider supporting this independent media. You can click the join button below this video on YouTube for $2 a month. You can become a channel member. You can hit the super thanks button, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. And uh, Mike Lindell, what are you going to do, right? I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.